fish highways and choke points. They can hold fish pretty often. We did pretty good today. Caught quite a few drum and good amount of redfish fishing these choke points. It's always better to have some current moving through them. But the things you're looking for, I put a few clips in the video, but if you want to look on Google Earth, you can find these things all over the place. Here's an example of a creek mouth. So you got the creek up here and it opens up into the bay right there. So this is your choke point right here where the creek is narrow is where you want to cast your bait or your lures. But also the area that leads up to this creek mouth. You can catch redfish, drum, flounder, sometimes trout. It depends on where you're fishing at. Where I fish at, we don't catch very many good trout in the marsh, or, or I don't personally. Um, but you can do pretty good in these creek mouth areas. Here's another example of a creek mouth. You have this long skinny creek and it opens up right here. So this is your choke point right where the creek is narrow and just before it starts to get wide. So cast your bait right there at the choke point. And also you can try around the grass too and around the points. You want there to be some current to go through there. It always makes inshore fishing better if the tide's going in or out. Some other examples of choke points will be your deeper guts that are in the bay, maybe the grass flats if you fish grass flats. Here's an example of a gut within a grass flat. You have the dark blue color on Google Earth and then it tapers off into the grass flat. So all of this up in here is your uh, submerged grass. And so I like to fish the edges right where it drops off on these things. I'll work my way down these edges and also fish right where it opens up into the flat right there. So this area right in here. If you put a plan together by looking at Google Earth and you hit all of these choke points and fish highways, you might not catch them at the first stop. It took us about three different creek mouths today to start catching some good fish. We had a couple short ones, but I was looking for better fish. And so I told Deborah and John, they booked a trip with me. I appreciate y'all. And it was John's birthday, so happy birthday. And I know sometimes people probably think that I'm impatient, but if that first spot doesn't pay off in 15, 20 minutes, it's time to move on. Or if you're just catching small fish, it's time to hit the next little choke point. So about the third choke point we hit, we did pretty dang good and we sat there the rest of the morning. Once we found some good fish, there's no need to move anymore, but finding those better fish is what I'm always looking for for me and my customers. And once we did, it was pretty easy. Today we're just using frozen shrimp. You want to buy the frozen shrimp that is native to your area. We fish South Texas, so we use either the Texas raised or the Gulf raised shrimp. You don't want to use any imported shrimp because they have a virus from, you know, other waterways and stuff like that. So get something that's native or you can go to the bait store. But the problem with going to the bait store, if you get fresh dead shrimp, it's not always that fresh and it doesn't always stay on the hook very good. And the easiest way to rig shrimp for me is just to use a jig head. We were using these Redfish Magic jig heads made by uh, Strike King. And a 1 8 ounce or a 1 quarter ounce is all you need. You can also fish cut bait in these choke points. So John had never been in a kayak and Deborah has kayaked a few times before but they'd never been in a pedal drive fishing kayak. So Deborah told John just to get in the truck and let's go fishing, but she didn't tell him that she booked a trip for his birthday. So it was a pretty cool surprise and they both had a really good day and that always makes my day good too. We're coming up on my favorite time of year to fish, October, November, and December. It's my favorite months, the redfish, all the fish, man. They just become more active, easier to catch. You know, some of the days, can just be pretty crazy with with a lot of good catches and uh, i have quite a few open dates available if y'all want to book a trip my website is cleanfunfishing.com thanks for watching let's go get them tight I'm just let's make a little move
and the wind is going to push you that way and you're going to cast towards that little creek that you just came out of. John, come right where I'm at. Come a little closer and then put and then put your anchor down when you get right next to me. And we're going to cast into that creek or towards that creek. Okay, let me turn around then. The the wind will turn you around after, okay. after you anchor. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's a good fish. He's pulling drag. It's a better one. Better drum. That's a yeah. That's a keeper size. You see all that bait scatter? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good stuff happening. My shrimp's right there in the middle of them too. Yeah. Yeah. He tasted. He gave him a little taste. It's <laughs> pretty good, pretty good one. Oh yeah, nice drum. Guys, if you want to eat them. Yeah, nothing wrong with that one. Thanks, buddy. Some of these shrimp are so damn big, you can just cut them in half. Those drum don't care how big it is. Oops. on my bait on that first bump son of a gun fishing on credit it was a bad credit score <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah some of them are keeper size too yeah this one is probably a little small but it's close yeah that's a red. Good red, black red. Nice red. Real nice one. Man. John got another one. <laughs> that one pulling drag. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Might be a red. That's a bit nicer fish. Yeah, I can tell. Might be a red fish, huh? Okay. A red? Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. 
Go, good job. <laughs> Let's go check him out. <laughs> nice red. See? Oh wow. I waited for the red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. You want me to get a picture of it? Sure. Hold him. There you go. That'll work. Awesome. Woohoo! That's a nice one. He's slot red. <laughs> you want to let him go? You want me to do it? No, if you'll let him go. Okay. <laughs> I got a red fish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was, was yours, did you measure yours? No, I think all four of them, well, I had two that were, that were about 24 inches. Oh, wow. That hers was probably 22. Yours looked to be about 20, 21. Yeah, four good, good reds. Yeah, pretty often they do that. They like to run those shorelines. But, but they have to come in and out of those creeks, too. So those are choke points. You doing okay on shrimp? I'm out. You're out? I got some more. I'll bring them to you. Nice drum. I was trying to check my messages. <laughs> better one too. The current is getting stronger in that creek. Can you? <laughs> oh, the current is starting to move. I bet we've had a two-man limit of drum. That's, 
That's a nice one too. <laughs> is today your birthday? Is today your birthday? Yeah, it's today, okay. <laughs>